Hello friends, welcome once again to our next part uh, of our PWA tutorials. In this part, we are going to continue by creating our login form that we left off in our previous video when we have created uh, different folders, uh, image folder, the uh, JS folder and pages folder. So uh, we had also imported the materialize.min uh, library in our uh, project and we had created the main class which will contain our custom uh, style sheet. We had created the index.html page. So we are going to create our HTML. So we'll start by defining the doc type of our page which will be HTML. Then define the HTML tag. Inside here, uh, we need to define the, uh, the the type of the language we are using, and that will be AN, which stands for English. And uh, we define the head, then the title. And title we put. Then we go ahead and define the metadata. Our first metadata will be the character. The type of character we need that will be UTF type. Then initial uh, scale will be 1.0. It's a link, and then we'll define. materialize okay then we define the font we save and then define the fonts have the link to our materialize font so copy that one you'll find it in the description below copy and then paste in your page like so so we need to define our body then after defining the body tag class outer div then this one will be the container So in our container, then we'll have our grid, uh, div, then say row class, v of row. So inside here, I'll say div class, then we say column. Uh, our column will be uh, defined the different sizes for different screens. So L stands for large screen, and we have three columns for large screen. Then medium screen device have three. Then small devices will have twelve columns. Copy that one. Paste that uh, div. Here we have class column large screens to be six medium six and then small device will be twelve. So here we'll define the form method will be post. So here we'll have we'll define our card for our content. So so div then define the, the index the depth will be uh, that one and then we will have h5 class center in login pwa Login form, then we have small description. So I have class center 
you say as to there okay then say let's save and see what we have save and then run with the live server good so we need to check it on now it will look on device go then what right you can install that plugin for chrome to see the different sizes uh, the device feel okay so so far so good so let's continue and create the input fields for our uh, login form so we'll start by div class i material icons then we have a save okay so far so good so let's go ahead and create the input input name username id username one then we have label label for user name one then same enter email stroke username save Okay, let me remove this ID. Okay, let's, let's import. script then that will be to realize save that good so what is happening here okay We come here and then need to put prefix and that in the icon. Good, now it's fine. So we can copy for time sake and then duplicate this. Enter pass password. Add this one password. Password. Good. So the, this one, the icon will be lock like so. button left column will have uh, L12 and then save we have 
is good but then we have this effect here where it is overlapping so go that we go and clear that by saying div uh, class clear uh, clear fits save good so we define the color for our button which will be orange good so far so good so after defining that we need to define the background for our page so we go ahead in our style and go to style main so body then background color will be of this color code is in the description copy and then paste like so save and then we have our beautiful login so if you click uh, type and then everything is moving on smoothly as, as it should be in on the browser you see it is a huge it's well centered when we go on the mobile view of it we see that it's already good on the mobile this is how it will look on the mobile and on the web this is how our application will look like in this part of the video we completed our login form for our pwa application so in our next video we are going to see how we can connect firebase to pwa login form so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe see you in my next video